Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And last night I did a video on how to put a, without welding or without virtual segment delete key, how to do something. So I thought I'd do it this morning into a, like a picture frame that you could use for like a mat board. So I just typed out the name, I hit P. So I'd put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna hold down the control button so it'll stay even. I'm gonna left click, right click. And normally you would have to weld these letters together, but by doing the new way, using the smart fill tool, you don't have to do that. Our object is like seven inches, so we'll set our nudge factor on eight. The only thing you gotta keep in mind is like these sections right here, you've got to deal with. So we're gonna get our smart fill tool and we're gonna fill that in we're gonna move it over. We've got everything but that and we're gonna move it over. We're going to take all that and we're gonna left click, right click. And also I forgot to do the inside of the K. So we're gonna left click, right click it. Whoop, hit the smart fill tool. Now just take your outer frame and move it over. There you have a completed object. I would safely use the smart fill tool again to fill all that in and move it over. Then all your nodes are connected and sealed. That's a lot easier than uh, welding, you know, virtual segment delete, all these lines. And also, if you wanted to, I'm gonna go a little step further. If you wanted to make the bottom of these letters, that's very easily done. We're gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna take a two-point line, and I'm gonna hit that node to that node. And you'll see why in just a second. Now I'm gonna take our original name and I'm gonna nudge it over twice, but I'm gonna nudge it over three times and then I'm gonna take our line and nudge it over. We have very little hanging over the edge, but we do. We're gonna to have to convert this to a curve. First of all, I'm gonna make it red. I must've made it purple. Go and convert it to a curve so we can cut it out and just swipe through here get rid of our line, grab all that and make it something other than a hairline and make it black. I'm using somebody else's palette and I got an RG or don't have RGB. So I'm gonna make it black and then I'm gonna make it something other than a hairline. I'm gonna, that's a little bit thick, maybe just one point. I'm gonna scale it to object just as grins and then I'm gonna move that over. So all this will cut out and that will engrave and make the letters look complete. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.